Julia, thanks for, you know, kind of like being willing to step more into the work that you would, that is closer to your heart, which of course means that it's more, more vulnerable. You know, it's going to kind of scary because in the past, I mean, up to now, which, which we talked about before we started recording, you know, you were taught, so many of us business people were taught, like you sell them what they want and then you give them what they want and what they need, but you sell them what they want. And then when, but you really, the work you really actually want to do is what they need. And, and so um, you're saying, you know, right now at this current stage in my life, I can take the time to build a business, giving people what I passionately believe they need. And so the great thing about it is that that's exactly how, well, you're here in Master Heart. This is exactly what the framework I've created is about. It's about authentic content starting from there, which authentic content means talking about what's true to your heart and saying, this is what I really, really care about. And if you care about this too, let's walk together, you know, let's play together. Um, maybe let's work together, but at least let's walk and, and play together first and see what happens. So yeah, that is literally the framework, right? You kind of start with authentic content. You build a community of kindred spirits based on that authentic content, not having to niche down because, well, I'm, I'm a niche rebel, like many of us are. And I think we, as a part of the infinite intelligence, is too big for a niche, um, especially for those of us, I should say, who have the luxury at this time to, to do that. For those of us who don't have as much luxury, we can niche down based on products and programs and courses. That's how we niche. We just go, hey, let me try that. Oh, that worked really well. Let me keep doing that a little while because it's making the money. Okay. That's how I, that's my framework of niching is we don't have to do, well, I am this for the rest of my life. No, I'm just, I'm selling this course or this coaching or this consulting or this whatever program right now because it's making the money. But that's not all of who I am, obviously. And I could still try selling this other stuff every now and then see what happens. But Julia, for you right now, beautiful. You don't have to sell the thing just to make money. You can first build that community, which you already have. You, you have the start of a community already. So continue building the community based on the thing that you care so much about. And then now that you have a community, you can talk to them through the market research and go in the realm of, for example, spiritual life coaching, what aspects would you love to work on? Oh, I would love to work on my retire my retirement plans as, as regard to you know per my purpose oh i would love to work on how to get my marriage feeling more alive and meaningful i'd love to work on how how is my my health is not good but i have, I have a sense that it's connected something deeper than just western medicine type stuff is there something deeper there right that's affecting anyway as you know and <laughs> that of what you know applies to all of that <laughs> right and that the niching of a product to experiment yeah with yeah. like who shows up for that that's right that's yeah right. and then it's like oh yeah and yeah all those things that you yeah. just said all those topics i'm like yeah. oh yeah let's talk about that yeah right. let's talk about that and yeah and not and and it's so there's so much more space around that yes and like i've got 10 steps to fix your marriage like you know <sighs> like oh no no wait a minute like yeah. ah yeah. Yeah. yeah let's see what's there because when they are when they care about your message when they've been following your journey for a little while, several weeks, several months, several years, then they can't wait to, some of them, and eventually many of them, can't wait to actually be in your presence live. <laughs> like, I'm here with Julia Thee, you know? Like, she's actually my coach. How amazing is that? Because I've been watching her videos. I've been reading her stuff for a couple of weeks now, a couple of months now, you know? 
And then I just hold up the mirror and I'm like, Hey, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, yeah. that's where impact happens is when, as we all know, those of us who are teachers and coaches and, you know, healers impact happens because the client, the student, the patient allows it to happen. <laughs> right? Because if they're resisting it, they can't heal, they can't transform. And they allow it to happen when they trust you, mm. when they believe your framework. And how do they come to believe your framework and to trust you when they, well, of course, because they've been They've been consuming your, they've been exposed to your message in the beginning. They were exposed to it. And they're like, oh, who's this person? Oh, kind of interesting. And more and more, they're like, oh, that makes sense. Oh, that resonates with me. Wow, that was really good. You know, and now they're in your presence. Now they're really open. Now they're really willing and allowing. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this all came to me. I, I was sick in bed for three days and went, and it was just like, wow. I'm changing. I'm wow, changing. That's big. Like, yeah. Yeah. So Oof. and I got out of my sick bed. I'm like, okay, here we go. <laughs> Transformation. Butterfly. <laughs> you know, emerging. So well, thank you, Julia. I hope this thank is helpful. You. And yeah. Yeah. Thanks Looking for witnessing that, you guys. I know. It's so great. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>